Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the story. Now Cardiff football firm, The Soul Crew, have long cemented themselves as one of the most notorious and prolific football hooligan firms in the UK. They ruled the lower division, along with the Pompeii firm. The fact that The Soul Crew were considered an invader, being a Welsh firm and had historical battles with West Ham, Manchester United, Portsmouth, they were respected for the fierce loyalty they held to their club. That and the fact that thousands of fans always turned out for Cardiff. The Soul Crew initially started as a group of friends who formed a passion for soul music and wearing high-end brands such as Burberry and Aquascutum when they formed in roughly 1982-1983 regularly following their football club to matches, home and away. Now according to members of the Soul Crew, they credited Nicky Parsons as the person for coming up with the name Soul Crew. In 1982, a group of friends had travelled to Sheffield with the ointment firm. They all had a conversation on the way to the match, saying, we need a name, a feeling, a buzz, an identity. 1,500 Cardiff supporters then made the cross journey to Lincoln. They chanted Soul Crew. After the match, thousands of people took to the streets chanting the Soul Crew and the name just stuck. Ultimately, Nicky Parsons would end up linking up with National Front and would end up being ostracised, hated even in Cardiff. As Cardiff Soul Crew was known to be multicultural, there weren't any issues with racism in the firm so they couldn't accept the kind of things that Nicky Parsons was doing. Now the Soul Crew members were relatively young at the time ranging from the casual fans, 12 years old to 16 or 17, to the older fans being roughly 21-22. Now some of the most prolific incidences include Cardiff vs Manchester United 1974, which was actually served as the catalyst for forming the Soul Crew. Now Manchester's Red Army, 10,000 fans had travelled to Cardiff in August of that year. At least 600 pairs of Doc Martin's boots marched on from Cardiff Station, and marched to Cardiff's football club, singing their songs to let Cardiff know the Red Army had arrived. Now the fact that Cardiff had been out of the top flight since 1962 made the Red Army dismiss Cardiff as a football club and also as a firm. Along the way, a few pockets of skirmishes ensued and some fans were chased around housing estates and also back to the station. However, the majority actually made it to the football stadium and positioned themselves right next to the Cardiff end to the Grange. Only a wire fence and police presence with dogs separate the two firms. Now before kickoff, the Red Army fought to get to the rivals. However, shockingly, Cardiff supporters actually pushed back. On that day, it was said that Cardiff had rallied everyone from the valleys, the hills and the towns and they had come out for the match. Rocks, stones, wood, insults, chants, hands, legs and arms were used. This was Cardiff's realisation that they could contend with the big boys. And then of course there was the 1983 Cardiff Soul Crew vs Portsmouth Pompeii. An estimated 4,000 Cardiff fans had travelled to Fracton Park. Portsmouth's Pompeii firm were established in Block A at the rear of the stadium. Cardiff Soul Crew were in an enclosure. So ingrained, so entrenched were they trying to get to the Portsmouth fans that Cardiff Soul Crew had actually jumped from the enclosure and also came up from underneath Block A. It was also said that some Cardiff fans had climbed the clock tower on Milton End before dismantling it. So the match itself was uneventful, it was a goalless draw. However, at full time, police released Cardiff supporters, all 4,000 of them, which resulted in one of the biggest riots ever seen around Fracton Park. In the incident, police vans were overturned and even every single window in coaches was smashed. Supporters were left on the floor not moving, a pool of red leaking, and of course, people just stepped over them and continued to squirm and brawl. In another infamous incident, the rivalry between the Soul Crew and Bristol Rovers reached eruption when the Soul Crew had set alight Union Jack flags. Now Cardiff had then made their way to the Bristol end of the stadium and then began to break the fence down by shaking it and climbing over it. There was a huge police presence but in the end, it was alleged that the police had to retreat due to the chaos. Now, the brawl ensued and it took to the streets as well. 
where over two dozen people were detained and charged for the incident, and of course, multiple injuries. According to the police themselves, they say that the Cardiff Soul Crew are recognised as one of the most violent football hooligan gangs currently active in Britain. The question is, do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you want a part two. Stay safe. Safe.